in the world was I thinking, well, let's do all these bags because they're going to fit on here. No, they're not. It broke a school bus window. It shattered. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I'm a beauty guru now. Look. And today we're doing pommies. I had my nose broke once. So if you see a Michelle make squirrel jerky, you know why. I probably read that on Wikipedia. We're gonna pressure can. Pressure canning with Michelle. Woohoo! That will be fun. Probably need to work out my arm and then it won't jiggle so much. Oh, 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 they're rolling. Hi everybody, welcome back. Guess what we're doing again, again, again. This is gonna be a thing. It's, this is gonna be a thing. So stick around if you wanna see the thing. We're doing this. And guess what we're doing with this thing, dehydrating, this dehydrating thing. We are dehydrating. Hold on a minute, let me go put this down so I can show you. I know you're excited. Can you see it? I put it over there because that's where we're going next. We are dehydrating apples. I have apples. I have more apples. I have more apples too. I have more now, we might not dehydrate all of these because Michelle might not feel like cutting all of them up. Oh, 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 they're rolling. Okay, here's what we got. I have a bag of Gala, Gala apples. We have those. So we have choices here. And I have a bag of, these say Honey Bear, and I think it's the name, Honey Bear. But on this little tag up here that is upside down, it says Honey Crisp. So these are Honey Crisp. Those might be good. And these say, Pansy, it's a name brand, I'm assuming, but it also says, hold, oh, please let me find it, because I've never seen this before on an apple bag. You may have, but I haven't. Apple palms, see that? Apple palms, never, never seen that before. Don't even know what that tastes like. Oh, yes, wait a minute, hold. Now, this is Apple Lessons with Michelle, because Michelle screenshotted this because I thought we all needed to know. Of course we all like the Gala apple. That's a sweet taste that can't be beat. Gala is a great, great in salads. I wonder if it's great in the dehydrator. I don't know, but that's a sweet apple. Now, the next apple we have is, oh, you know what? Oh, it's the Honeycrisp. I thought I missed this one. Okay, it's the Honeycrisp. It says, they're creamy white flushes, exceptionally crisp and aromatic. A balanced content of sugar and acid gives honey crisp apples a pleasant, pleasant sweet tart flavor. Okay, so we have sweet tart, and I already forgot what the other one was said, but oh, it's the pomade one or the palmy. I don't even know. I've never heard of it. The palmy apple. So the other one, it it really doesn't matter. Okay, because you know what? I'm gonna put them on the trays. I'm gonna put in. I'm probably gonna forget what's what anyway and probably switch them around. Yeah, I'll probably do that. And then we'll, the apples will be lost in transit somewhere. Let's see, these are, you ready? These are a firm, crisp, juicy, yellow flesh flavored apple. Balance of sweet and tart with tones of pears and nuts. Okay, well, it doesn't matter anyway because they're gonna get lost in the dehydrator. I already know. I, I, I already know. Have you seen my plan with the garden video? Yeah, well, I'm probably not gonna label the apples either. Maybe I should, because that might be interesting. Thinking, this is thinking with Michelle. So if I get three, three, look, look at my arm jiggle. Did your arm jiggle like that? I need to lose weight. Probably need to work out my arm and then it won't jiggle so much. I don't know. Who has time for that either? All right, I'm still thinking. Hold on a minute, I'll be right back. All right, so here's what I did. I got my garden labeling stuff. These are my little sticks. And I'm gonna write on here what is what. So this one's gonna be Honeycrisp. I already know I won't remember if I don't do this. Okay, this is gonna be the, the palmy thing. Palmy, palmy. And then the other one we have See, I already don't remember. That's Honeycrisp, and that's the pump. What is this? Gala. We have Gala. Gala. I really wish my brain worked a little better sometimes. I really do. I bet my husband does, too. Yep, I bet he does, too. All right, so I've got three bowls, and we're going to put... We're going to do this. Now, I also have this... 
this and I'm going to put this on my apples because I don't have lemon juice but I found this and I bought this stuff. When I was looking at all of the canning stuff because I'm going to be a canner too. We're going to pressure can. Pressure canning with Michelle. Woohoo! That will be fun. Okay. Back to I have this but I'm looking on here and it doesn't say how much to use. So I don't really know how much to use and I don't know if it would change the flavor of the apple. It, it doesn't have a smell, so we'll figure that out too. We're just gonna figure everything out today. But I wanna start, I just don't think my bowls are big enough. This, these are just not big enough. I know what we'll do. Change of plans here. I'm allowed to do that. All right, on to plan B. I have this. I have this big thing with this lid, okay? And I'm gonna put the apples in here and then put that stuff, this stuff, this stuff, sprinkle it on there and just shake it around. And then we're gonna put that on the dehydrating tray first because then maybe I won't, uh, it's better luck that I won't mix, I won't mix this up. We, just better chances. Better chances of Michelle not messing with me. We're gonna do these first, these, these, these palmy ones that I've never heard of. So I'm gonna like bring you down here because I know you wanna watch me cut these apples. I, I know you do, because why not? All right, I've got you down here now. I did read about this and you don't have to peel the apples and because I'm not gonna peel the apples, we're not gonna do that. Now listen, I probably read that on Wikipedia. We're just gonna go with Wikipedia. Did I ask anybody else? No, I didn't because I didn't want them to say, yes, you have to peel the apple. So if you don't ask, then you don't have to find out, right? I got this handy dandy knife. Is that cool or what? It just gets right in there. I did sharpen the knives and I'm gonna just put all that stuff. Oh no, we're not gonna do that because then you see my arm again. We don't wanna see Michelle's arm. So let's, let me think. This is a whole video of let Michelle think. I'm gonna have to do a little rearranging. These apples we're not using yet, so we'll just sit them on the floor. Hopefully the dog doesn't eat them or the, or the cat. So we're gonna put the peels in here and then cut over here. Okay, now we've got this. Watch Michelle look like an idiot. So that's what I learned. You know what? If you don't wanna know, don't ask. Just don't ask. I used to work, like I drove a school bus for handicap and mentally challenged people and if there was an incident I would have to like make an incident report so if somebody started telling me something on the bus I would say stop do not tell me anything I don't want to hear it I would don't tell me anything I don't want to know because if I know then I have to make an incident report and report it so whatever happened I don't need to know if you want to tell my bus aid feel free feel free in fact, why don't you go tell my bus aide? She needs to know this. She needs to know, not me. Because I don't want to make an incident report. Now, if it was something important, don't get me wrong, I would do it. But if it was little silly stuff that, you know, they thought, oh, there's a brown spot. They thought I needed to know that might have been questionable to make an incident report, don't tell me. I don't, I don't want to know. Don't need to know that. I had some fun experiences on that bus though. Oh, looks like a worm got in. Look at, we have a worm entry point. Back to my story. I used to have a lot of fun driving that bus. Let me tell you something. Handicapped people, people with Down syndrome, and just, you know, that population in general, they are fun. They are a lot of fun. You ask them, how's your day going? You know what their answer, did I, oh, I thought I missed one. Their answer is, can't complain today. If that person that has all the problems in the world can't complain today, we shouldn't be complaining either. I picked up a lot of uh, kids with Asperger's and autism. I had my full experience of autism for years. And I will tell you, the people that you need to worry about, because some people say, like if you see somebody with Down syndrome, and don't get me wrong here, because they're happy, they are enjoying their life. So if you see somebody with Down syndrome, say hi to them, don't be afraid of them, say hi to them, because they're awesome, they're awesome people. Or, you know, if you see somebody that's in a wheelchair, that's just, you know, say hi to them, you'll make their day. You will make their day, I'm telling you. 
I picked up a lot of these kids, Asperger's. You know what? The worst experience I ever had on a school bus was when the man had, he was, he was autistic. And I had a lot of autistic kids on my bus that year. And it was hard. That was a hard, hard year. I learned a lot, though. But when you have that many people on your bus with autism or Asperger's or that just don't understand, if one of them has a behavior, which means if one of them gets triggered, they don't like something or something bothers them, and they just start acting up, and they, they will, that will trigger the next person, which triggers the next person, which triggers the next person. So then you have a whole bus of triggered autistic people. It's hard to con it's hard to control that. It's hard to take care of that. Well, I better cut these apples, huh? The worst experience that I ever had on a, driving a, a bus that happened. Somebody triggered this man, and he was so upset he took his head one and went whoom to the window, and it broke the window. It broke a school bus window. It shattered. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. When somebody with autism is upset, let's put it that way, is upset, their strength multiplies by a hundred. They're strong. They're, it, it comes out of, ew, that's gross. It comes out of nowhere. Oh, then we'll just get rid of that whole one because that's gross. We had to stop. Well, I was already stopped when it happened. I had to call in. I was very close to the where we picked them up. And immediately, somebody two people came out and helped me in my bus aid which she was scared too that, that's another story but we got through it and we moved on and you know i got back on the bus and we're gonna do it again i did end up getting hurt that day i got kicked in the knee by this man oh, boy did that hurt boy did that hurt had to go room the whole thing I was off for a little while because my knee looked like it, it was huge it was huge so anyway back to the apples but that was my favorite job I loved it I had my nose broke once somebody was upset and hit, punched me in the nose when they did it they were they knew that they had done it they were nonverbal and kind of I don't know how to put it but they were when they saw that I was hurt they were upset put it that way put it that way I'm going to start cutting these apples and we have to cut them thinly. Back to the apples. Now we're going to cut these thin. I don't want to run the dehydrator for like 10 days to do these apples. So we're going to cut these real thin. Oh, I am so glad I didn't peel these apples. I don't really, that's probably too thin. Okay. And that's probably too thick, but we're going to try to get them all the same size. Oh, yay. See, now they're already starting to turn brown. Maybe I should have quit talking and worried about the apples. But you know what? Hey, we'll just go. My poor husband's at the doctor right now. He hurt his back. He never misses work ever. He didn't work today. He like gets perfect attendance all the time. All the time. And when he misses work, you know it's bad. So he's at the doctor right now. His lower back hurts which I'm expecting him to call me soon. I told him I would drive him there, but he was okay. He said, no, I'm, I'm okay to drive. Well, okay. we might just do this brand of apples and say, forget all them other ones. This might be enough. By the time I get all these cut up, do I think we might just do one bag? So much for my labeling system. Oh, me and I missed. Thank God I didn't get my finger. Did you see the video? My husband got our flag pull up. Boy, does it look nice. I got him a new, he's put so much work into that flag pull. I made sure to get him a, and order him a new flag. Soon we're going to put that stuff on there. Uh, I wish I knew how much. I could Google it, I guess, and find out how much to put on there. But why do that? I always hated peeling apples for my children. That was one job I hated. Is there one job that you hated doing for your kids that you were like, oh my gosh, are you serious? You want an apple, another apple, another one? I kept telling them, you know, you need to eat the skin. It's good for you. Well, they wanted me to peel them apples, I think, till they were like 16 years old. Like, peel your own apple. Now they're peeling apples for my grandkids. <laughs> How do you like it now? How do you like it now, girls? How do you like peeling them apples? It's funny because once in a while, I have one of my daughters call me and say, guess what they did? 
and it's something that they did when they were little and I'm like yeah mm -hmm, that's too bad feel for ya uh -huh. let's hope these aren't too thick I don't I don't even know I didn't did I, I, I still haven't read the book I still have not read that book I didn't even watch a video on this I just thought I'm gonna cut these up and set them at uh, something temperature and just go with it I think we need to have a change of plans again we're gonna change the plan again on this because again this is a video of watch Michelle figure it out during the video these are starting to turn brown now they're starting to already turn brown and this bowl isn't big enough to handle those apples so the compost is gonna go into this bowl I'm gonna dirty every dish I have in the kitchen by the time I'm done with this I think so there's the compost go feed my worms with that and then in here are gonna go the apples because this is a bigger bowl well I might as well finish I only have a couple apples left we'll just hurry up and buzz through these apples listen I told both of these children that are here my brother's children stepchildren I'm going to go film a video do you want to eat lunch right now because I'm going to film and what do you think they said no we're okay so what do you think they just did? They both just came in here. I had shut the camera off once. <laughs> I'm shaking my knife at you guys. <gasps> I shut the camera off once when, when the boy came in, okay? I'm like, are you kidding me right now? I want to eat lunch. Sure you do. So then we just had the other one come in. Um, Auntie, I think I want to eat now. Well, I'm sure you do too. Auntie's filming a video, so let's come in here and eat lunch. Let's do that right now. They're both eating, so I probably shouldn't have any more interruptions. Interruptions, that's what we're here for. I think the next video, I've got my garden planted out there. And I planted all my stuff. Well, I've got this squirrel hanging around now. There's a squirrel hanging around the garden area up in the tree. And I know he's looking at my tomatoes. I know he is. I told my husband, listen, my next video is going to be how to make squirrel jerky. So if you see a... Michelle makes squirrel jerky. You know why. Okay, let me move this. All right, we've got the apples. Apples all in a bowl. And this stuff that doesn't say how much to use. So we are winging this. We wing things here and we figure things out. That's what we do. I'm going to just sprinkle. It's, oh, it's powdery. Oh, yeah, that's powdery. And then we'll just stir it around. Give it a stir. I might need some more. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I really have no idea. Maybe another shake. Yep, we'll just do another. Probably too much. Woo! Woo! Oh, my nose. That went up. That went up my nose. Okay. Warning. To my throat. Oh my goodness. Warning. Warning. They should put a warning label on this. May make you choke. Gets up your nose. Stand clear. Alright, that I'm thinking that's enough. I, I have no idea. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. So again, we got our labels. So I don't forget what we're doing. We're doing the palmies. Here are these. I'm probably not even saying the word right. Can you see it? Oh here, let me do this. Ooh, there you go. I'm a beauty guru now, look. And today we're doing palmies. Alright, let's get to the dehydrator. Let's go do this. All right, I have my apples and I have my trays here. And this is working. They're not turning brown, so this is working. Next time I do apples, I'll try lemon juice to see if there's a difference in the flavor. So let's, oh, already, daggone it. I already went through the hole. Went through the hole. I'm just gonna dump these on here. Maybe let's do them this way, because if we do them all in unison, one way around, they might all fit. I don't know. Let's go with the handful and just spread them out. There we go. If I don't do it that way, it might take all freaking day. That's an odd one. Okay, my husband's home. How are you doing, husband? Sore, but I'm home. He's sore, but he's home. Well, that's a good thing. He works so much around this house, let me tell you. He does so much stuff that I think it all just kind of caught up with him. These are the kind of apples, when you bite them, you get this look on your face like this. That I like a sweeter kind of apple. I know these are still lumped up, but these might be okay. I should sprinkle some sugar on them. I bet these are actually going to be good. Do you think these are going to be good? What kind of apples are they? These are, look, I labeled it. I labeled it. Where'd it go? I labeled it. 
Where'd the label go? Oh, for God's sakes. I can't, no, I can't right now. Where'd the label go? Here's the Crispin Kayla. There's two. We need one more. Here. I got the bag. Delicious. No, no, no. These are apple palms. P-O-M-M-E-S. Never heard of that before. Never heard of those. Yeah. Never ever. Also, dang oh, it. Where'd the label go? Are you kidding me? Well, it's not on the floor. I, I don't know where it went. I really don't. I walked into the other room for a minute. I bet you I took it. I bet you I took it. Do you guys do that? Take things places and set them down and then you don't know where you put them. You're clueless. Hey, babe. Mm. Are you going? Can you look on that table in there? I bet you that I put them in there. Uh, the label? I'm looking for the little wooden stick. Maybe he can find the little wooden stick. Not that I need it now anyway because I'm only doing one bag of apples. What was I thinking? Sure, I'll cut all these apples up. They're going to all fit. No, they're not. They won't fit. He can't find it either. Goodness gracious sakes. <sighs> Welcome to my world. I wonder if I threw it away. I could have even done that. Now you know why my garden's all messed up. I can't believe this. All right, well, forget it. We'll just keep moving on. My husband's looking in the garbage can in the top of it. Nothing. He's not seeing it. See, I told somebody I was going to do this. <gasps> there it is right there. It's right there. It wasn't there a minute ago. Maybe it was under the trays. You know what? It was probably under the trays. Okay, we've got the label back. Oh, beauty guru. Let's see the beauty guru. There we go. Got the label back. Not that we need it, but we found it. Hold, please. I need more trays. All right. I just got both of them. Oh, what in the world was I thinking? Well, let's do all these bags because they're going to fit on here. No, they're not. No, they're not, Michelle. When I'm done here, I'm going to go out and water my little plants. Make sure that squirrel didn't need them. Because you know what? If that squirrel ate them, my husband's home today. I'm going to send him out in a lawn chair with the BB gun. So we can make squirrel jerky next. Dehydrated squirrel. Dehydrated squirrel. Squirrel jerky. That's what it's... Oh, that one's kind of thick. You want to try one of these apples? What kind of these? These, them these are... Don't ask me that. Palm again. ones? Yeah. They, um, read the label. Found the label. Read the label. We'll see what he thinks. Kind of tart. Kind of tart. Yes, kind of. They made my mouth pucker. I don't know if all these are actually going to even fit. I might have to squish them together a little better. All right, so like one five pound bag of apples will fit on one, two, three, four, five trays. So don't be like me. Learn from Michelle. 15 pounds of apples are not going to fit on your dehydration trays if you have five of them. If you have more than five, then how about it? But you know what? 15 pounds of apples won't fit. All right, I've got three more in this bowl. And those are eater ones because they're not going to fit. All right, over to the dehydrator. Let's go. All right, we're ready for the dehydrator. I've got the apples here. See, the apples are over here. I like to dehydrate over here. I have like a breakfast bar. And if they, over here, they don't really get in the way because the kids are done schooling. And this is where they used to sit. So I have my little breakfast bar back. Oh, 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 let me show you. We are going to do these at 135 because you don't want to lose the nutrition out of the apples. That's what I've learned. So we're not going to lose any nutrition. I've also been told not to put them in the oven by my husband. Right. The oven the oven's blocked. The oven, he has blocked me from the oven and he is not letting me buy bananas anymore. So if somebody wants to mail me some bananas, feel free. Mail me a bunch of bananas and boom, it goes on. So we're going to put it on 135 and let it sit here. Now we'll be back to check these in a few hours and hopefully they'll be like starting to dehydrate. I'm not sure what the humidity is outside. Yesterday it was 90 degrees and today it's 70. I have no idea. So this may take forever. But we're going to let these little buggers sit, and we'll be back later. Well, it's officially the next day, and we turned this off overnight. And I, it's been running the dehydrator. Can't get that out of my mouth. The dehydrator has been running for like three hours now. Let's, let's check this out. Well, they've gotten very tiny. And there's, oh, that one broke. The, it broke right on the... The peel. The peel broke. But I do think these need more time. A couple more hours, I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to take come on, get on hours today because, of course, Michelle chose the rainy day. I should have watched the weather forecast, but you know what I didn't? 
two days ago it was like 90 and it was miserable yesterday it was like in the 80s and it was nice today can you see the rain it's raining yep it's raining today so i'm sure it's gonna need to dehydrate most of the day and it's in it's in the 60s today we'll just deal with it we'll just let this machine run and see what happens in a couple hours all right well it's the next day and i want to show you these they've been dehydrating 12 hours now don't forget it rained it rained here but look now you'll notice a lot of them are missing but that's okay that's okay because we ate them for the watch they snap oh yep and they bounce look you can hear them bouncing not that you play with your don't play look at here all right i have a taste tester here behind me woohoo taste tester quality control tester quality control she's been quality controlling a lot today apparently the whole thing is missing on the top it's okay <laughs> i get mine now yeah i've been quality control i'm the quality control person but this is a healthy like there's no sugar on them there's no nothing i did not put sugar on these very good good and don't forget they're palmy can you put your hand in front of that like a beauty guru? Can you see them? I can't see. Like a beauty guru does. Yep, there you go. They're palm, dirty, but palm, okay. palmy, P-O-M-M-E. Don't know what it is. Apples. But these are really good. Very good. And I'll probably end up doing these again. I'm sure that I will because I really like these. All right, if you like my video. no smoke. No smoke? Mm -hmm. Still not allowed to buy bananas. I'm getting there. I have, I have I have more extinguishers, more fire extinguishers on order on order. They'll be here soon. Thanks for that. Love you. Love you. Okay. All right. If you like my video, come back for more. Don't know what I'm dehydrating next. I might know what I'm dehydrating next. I might know, and it's going to be a surprise. You know that saying? I can't tell you. Well, can't tell you. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.